welcome welcome everyone this is pindi maseko and i just want to welcome everyone that is coming for the first time please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the like button and also the notification bell so that you mustn't be left behind when i upload any new video so thank you very much guys thank you thank you thank you for everyone that is coming in and supporting the channel supporting the page i'm very much thankful to everyone that is doing that so today we are going to talk about a very important uh, a topic that is next to my heart but before i can continue i just want to say this to you uh, that i'm not trying to advertise any department here i'm not trying to advertise any company but i am a professional nurse and i've got my own private practice and the all oh, the private practice name is kahlulo health services so if you want to come and visit us you can come and visit us as at um 68 crown street in babatin and i am doing home visit per request and if you want to come to us you can just add uh, phone or whatsapp for an appointment we are working on appointment so today our topic will be important of antenatal visits and guys i've got my notebook in front of me so i'll be looking uh, uh, down checking the points that i want to talk about i don't want to be out of line so i just want to make sure that i give you all the information that uh, i have and all the points that i jotted down so today is um, a very a good day for me and i decided no let me just uh, 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 put this topic down and share with our people out there so since i've said that uh, our topic will be important of antenatal visit so before we can go on i think it's very important to know that why are we supposed to go and visit our practitioner our gynae doctors our nurses from our local clinic or private clinic for antenatal so it is very important because we, we have to make sure that uh, the pregnant woman and the fetus are in the best possible health. Remember that uh, uh, our duty as practitioner is to maintain or monitor your health status. So it is very important to visit an um, antenatal uh, uh, facility or antenatal clinics so that we as practitioners will make sure that your, your fetus and the mother are in good health. And another point is to detect early signs of complications. Remember, if you are a, a pregnant woman, you are not alone. You've got some a, a, a somebody that you are carrying. So there are complications that can rise there. So we have to detect that as early as possible and we have to manage them. So the other point is to offer an education for a parenthood remember you can be a, a first-time mom so you need an education so that you can be able to know how to take care of yourself how to take care of the baby after born and some so on and so on and also i don't want to forget this we also have to prepare the woman for labor or lactation and care of the infant after birth remember you have to choose which uh, a method do you want to use you can uh, use the breastfeeding method or the formula method so you choose what is suitable for you but remember we promote exclusive breastfeeding so after that uh, we've got some points uh, or factors that we are doing as a professionals or as healthcare provider or as practitioner when you are visiting our facility number one we have to identify the high risk factor during your pregnancy we must make sure that we we do baseline bloods we check your hp level we check your your glucose level we check the 
uh, signs of infection we do urinary testing we do blood pressure to make sure that the blood pressure is normal because if it's not normal it can lead you to preeclampsia and the urine dipstick supposed to be clear if it's not clear if there's proteinuria in your urine meaning that there's a primary a, a, a kidney disease that it's coming so we must make sure that we clear everything when you come for our visit so and we have to make sure that um we give you supplement like like folic and 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 folic acid and vitamins we have to give the woman that so that it can be can boost the the, the fetus and we also have to give the woman an immunization like rubella and hepatitis to prevent her from those diseases. So, and another one, we have to make sure that uh, we check the lying. Remember when you go to, uh, to the local clinic or to your practitioner for antenatal visit, they do the palpation of the, of the tummy. It's where we check the lying of the baby. We check uh, where's the head, where's the legs, where's the upper, upper limbs, lower limbs, and the lying of the baby. And so and then we also we also check the heart rate of the fetus. So that is very important to go and visit antenatal so that we can be able to detect that. And we also use as a ultrasound to check the development of the baby and the, the heart rate of the fetus and the the, the the long bones and the and the height and the and the and the and the length of the baby. So it is very, very much important to do that. So and we also monitor the diet of the we also monitor the diet when we are pregnant or when the mother is pregnant. We teach them how to monitor diet, not to gain excessive weight. Remember, if you are pregnant, usually you gain weight. But we have to monitor that, to give you education, to monitor the weight. And you have to visit or we have to refer you to the dietitian so that you can be able to eat a well healthy diet and which includes protein and vitamins and the iron so and when you do the antenatal visit it's very important to teach uh, uh, the, the the mothers on how to exercise on how to do the antenatal exercises you do the exercises uh, daily or you can plan on how you can do it and the importance of checking the kicks. Uh, it's our duty to give you the tick tick form. We call it tick tick form. It, it has been designed that there's time and a space where you can tick if the baby kicks and then you tick if the baby kicks and then you tick. It's where we determine that the baby is okay. And if the ticks are going down, we advise the mothers to come to the practitioner so that they can report on the reducement of the kicks and then after that we do have four visits scheduled that uh, the pregnant woman is supposed to, uh, to 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 visit the days the month or the weeks that's supposed to honor so number one we've got the first uh, uh, timing is before the 16 weeks of gestational age but some of the women usually they come before 12 weeks but uh, the timing that is scheduled it's it's before 16 so you can come at 12 13 14 and and until 16 you can start your antenatal visit and then the second leg it's a uh, between 24 to 28 weeks of gestational age and then the third visit is between 30 to 32 weeks of gestational age and then the fourth week the fourth visit is between 36 and 38 weeks of gestational age and you know it, it, it is very important to do this checking when you come for the visit because we have to screen and manage if you've got anemia Remember when I started, I said we have to check the level of your blood uh, in the body 
and if you find that it's it's less meaning you've got a name here we have to manage that is what we're doing on this visit and then we also have to screen for preeclampsia and previously i was talking about the blood pressure i said if the blood pressure is not normal it's high it means you are um developing a preeclampsia so we have to manage the blood pressure and if the blood pressure that is not controlled we have to put you on medication so that we can able to control the blood pressure and then we also provide the mother advice on bed preparation danger signs during pregnancy and so on like if you are pregnant you don't have to 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 see your period or if you're pregnant you don't have to spot or if you're pre pregnant you don't have to have a, a pv bleeding something like those things it's a danger sign you have to rush to the clinic immediately and and if you remember if you are pregnant your baby is pressing the uterus if it, the baby keep on growing keep on growing the baby's head is pressing the uterus so if you go to the toilet or you're passing urine it's not always um easy to empty your bladder there'll be some urine that is left over then those urines can those urine can um build up and 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 infection can be there a bacteria can grow there so we have to make sure that every visit we check a urine dipstick so that we can detect any bacteria because bacteria can cause uh, the the baby uh, the life of the baby or the fetus and the mother so we also have to check the proteuria if you've got a proteuria in your urine after deep stick it means that you've got the primary kidney disease and you can and diabetic also and it can also lead to primary hypertension that can lead to a clamja so you have to monitor that so in this first 28 weeks, eh, the mother is supposed to go once per month to visit the, 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 the antenatal. And then 36 weeks, supposed to go twice a month. Remember, the baby is growing now. Then after the 36 weeks, eh, the mother is supposed to go weekly until she delivers. So it is very, very important to visit antenatal and antenatal is the best for all the women that are pregnant as long as you tested yourself and or you went to your practitioner you tested pregnancy positive start antenatal as early as possible so that it can be easy for the practitioner to detect any high risk to detect any factors that can lead you to to complication during your your pregnancy so thank you very much guys for listening i hope and believe that this information it can help you this information will help others you can just forward it to anyone that you think it's very important and i like to thank everyone that is supporting the channel and please if you wish to um put comment you can just pause your comment and if you wish you want uh, some other topics or you've got a topic or you've got a concern you want us to talk about you can just write it and i will come back to you i promise and i will just put um my contact details on the bio below so that you can read and make an appointment if you want to visit our clinic thank you very much for your support and enjoy the video bye